Hey everyone, this is Justin with DayTradeTheMarkets.com on Friday, August 10th, uh, and I wanted to take a look specifically at making sense of several markets like the Euro, the ES, the, uh, the crude, uh, even corn today by looking at the what we call our relative aggression bars, kind of as, a, as an add-on to the video I did earlier in the week that was kind of a, uh, an explanation of the relative aggression concept in, in layman's terms, and if you haven't seen that, I recommend checking that out. There should be a link to it. Um, nearby uh, when you're watching this video but uh, you know our, our software does a lot of things uh, you know and the idea is that you wait for several pieces of evidence to come together that give you a high probability opportunity and, and the software gives us various pieces of, of evidence but what I want to just focus on today I, I'm gonna strip the chart of all of this and I'm just gonna focus in on the relative aggression bars because it's really the first lesson that we talk about the first building block if you will that that we use to uh, make sense of the short-term direction of the market so I wanted to just go through a few markets um, today just looking at relative aggression bars and with that said just looking at what we call our level two and our level three relative aggression bars kind of the more powerful bars and kind of show you the idea that that we use to make sense of the short-term directionality of the market Okay, so I've, I've taken off the filter, I've taken off the deceleration bars, I've taken off the support resistance zones, I've even, even taken off the level one buying and selling aggression bars. So we're just left with uh, the level two and level three buying and selling aggression bars. And just again, the key to, well, in our belief, any kind of trading is to be able to put things in context. You don't want to be systematic. You want to be able to understand what's going on in the market, uh, have an idea of the direction of the market. From there, then you look for more precise trade entries. So I just want to put that in context that what we're looking at is kind of the first building block, just the idea of uh, looking at these relative aggression bars and asking ourselves, do we get follow through or do we get rejection? And when we get that evidence, that's giving us a pretty good handle on what the likely short term direction of the market's going to be. So for example, here's the ES to start out with, and I'm going to show a few markets today. But you can see early on, and I've got the whole chart here, so it's a little scrunched up, but you can get the idea. We've got a level three buying aggression bar as well as this high velocity move, which is this box. And you can see pretty quickly we got some follow through. We had a full bar above the high of that bar very quickly. And so that that's giving us evidence that at least short term the, the direction is up. Now we have this level two bar here. And with any of these come in, our first expectation, we want to see if the low of that bar is going to hold. You can see the low of this one didn't, didn't even get tested before it, it, it extended higher. But we want to see if the low of this bar can hold. And it certainly did. So again, our expectation is for more continuation higher. Now, the next level two bar that we had right here, you can see we did not get a full bar above. In fact, within 20, 30 minutes, we had a full bar below. That's our first clue that this at least short term move higher could be coming to an end. Does that mean you just want to get short? Not necessarily. It depends what the other context of the market is. And again, the context of the market today was that the bigger picture bias was up. Our filter was mainly green. A lot of evidence that you don't just want to jump onto a short necessarily, but it's telling you at least that this upward move short term is likely come to an end. You can see then that we sell off and we have we do so on this high velocity move and on a level three selling bar. And so that's a very intriguing bar. That's one that we really want to watch in that case. Do we get anything below? Do we get a full bar? No. You can see on the very next bar we tested in but we then closed within the range of this bar. Took out the high after a little bit after. Um, had some full bars above. So it's telling us okay this attempted sell off didn't really attract more sellers it attracted some some um, opportunistic buyers and so our next structure we want to look at is this level two uh, buying bar and you know you can see that nothing really happened for quite a while uh, we got uh, more action above than below but the market just kind of traded within that channel for uh, I don't know uh, two three hours there then the next major event was this attempted move lower we had a uh, a, a level two selling aggression bar and again using the same idea we want to ask ourselves do we get acceptance below or do we get acceptance above and you can see we didn't even test the low we took out the high pretty shortly thereafter and then you know it was off to the races and you can see a level two bar follow through level two bar follow through high velocity move you know so again you know this is just one piece of the puzzle but it's kind of the first piece of the puzzle that we look at these relative aggression bars 
and we ask ourselves do we get follow through or do we get rejection and that information in itself is a pretty good indication of which direction the market's likely headed and then when you're able to kind of take it to the, the second step third step fourth step etc and put the market in better context that's where the real power comes from so hopefully that makes sense wanted to look at some other markets just some markets we don't typically look at had someone ask me about uh, corn today so thought I'd take a look at that one and then we'll do uh, a few others um, but again just using the same idea where what I've done here um, I didn't take off the decelerations I, I meant to but the uh, what I've left is just the level two and three buying and selling bars as well as what we call our high velocity move so when we opened here you can see the first thing we had was a selling high velocity move so we want to ask ourselves okay number one is does the high hold or does the low hold and you can see we get some activity below uh, in here so certainly we're thinking that the market's more likely to move down than up we get a level two selling bar here now this actually got rejected a, a little bit so that was a, a bit of a heads up but every time it did it decelerated uh, if you can see that up in here these decelerations so we didn't get any you know we didn't get any positive buying above there it decelerated every time it tested above and then we had this high velocity move made by sellers some follow through then we tested the high here and here decelerated so again it's telling us sellers are mainly in control um, etc until this bar here was essentially rejected we had to move higher but this bar was essentially rejected and we had to move lower so you know I know I went through that one pretty quickly but it's just that idea of uh, you know do we get follow through from these level two and, and level three selling bars and even more so these level uh, the high velocity moves and then level three bars if you just looked at those alone those are even more powerful than adding the level two bars so you know that's uh, kind of kind of the idea there so that's that's corn just a, a different market but it works on any market that's the point I'm, I'm trying to make you just want to use this as one clue and it's a pretty powerful clue but one clue that you're gonna use with you know it could be with the rest of the the parts of our software to put things in context which is really all that I do or it might be something you're already doing it's just kinda of giving you a little bit of uh, extra confirmation or or a little bit of uh, a chance to say well I better think twice before doing that so um, let's look at crude oil now uh, same idea here um, where you know we had a uh, level two buying bar rejected rejected so we're expecting the move lower this level two bar uh, level two selling bar had its high tested and then we moved down now this level two bar you can see had its high tested did not move lower we actually got activity above the high of this level two bar so that's our first clue that the selling at least this wave of selling might be over we didn't really have any strong buying come in until up in here and you can see we had follow through from these level three bars until this one where we got rejection okay so that's telling us this wave is probably over now we have this level two bar you can see the market essentially just traded in kind of like in the ES today kind of traded in that channel but more than 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 not um, you know was selling off now this one gave us a little bit of pause but the the first one that you know I, let me try to rephrase this this selling bar was still within the range of this one so uh, we, we kind of want to defer to this one in a sense uh, again a, a little advanced but the idea is just to kind of watch these then we get this level three bar doesn't quite get to the high sells off etc this level three bar gets rejected pretty quickly now it was kind of the end of that selling move and then some buying came back in so um, you know the, the oil markets pretty volatile but it, this can kind of give you that heads up when something major is happening and we we certainly talk about trades we call level three continuation trade we have a level three retracement trade you could just kind of uh, you know and I know a few people that do this you could just look at the level three bars and put those on several markets and just kind of uh, trade off of those if you wanted but I'm just trying to say this in the context of um, kind of making sense of what's going on in the market short term by just looking at these bars kind of the, again that first building block idea uh, let's look at the uh, the euro kind of the same idea here um, we tested up we got rejected so we're moving lower these things hold then we get a high velocity move made by buyers this one uh, is, is basically won by the buyers and you can see the buyers take over all these structures have follow through until we get to here then we get some rejection okay and then you know the the day ended with uh, you know basically just uh, chop within uh, this this level two bar here but just kind of that idea that early on we had some opportunity to, to you know this is not this is just trying to help you make sense of what's going on this is the like I said the first building block so just kind of following along with these major structures okay so hopefully that makes sense um, I will end it for now but uh, 
we'll take it a little bit further next week and look at some other components of the software. Uh, but I hope you have a great weekend, and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.